Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. This was step three um, in, mm -hmm. in breaking up. Yeah, that's uh, it. Hijacking. Hijacking the media. The use of entertainment has been well known, has been well known weapons of mass distraction. With yeah. the Negro mind and body enslaved to carnal pleasures and entertainment, Dang. the soul and intellect cannot be stirred to revolution. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was some heavy stuff. Read that again. Read that again, bro. The use of entertainment has been well-known weapons of mass distraction with the Negro mind and body enslaved to carnal pleasures and yeah, entertainment. That's some dumb talk shows, all that them dumb movies, hey. all that have their mind tied up. Yeah, go ahead. Cardi B uh, there you and go. her husband bought a house. Yes. Yes. And in one day, it got four million views. Wow. One Just for buying a house. Just for buying a house. <laughs> wow! It shows where our people's minds are at. That's yeah. what this. That's yeah. what they're saying in this article. Mm -hmm. Read it again. It's, it's, keep, keep yeah, going. read it. Yeah, go ahead. Read it the again. soul and intellect cannot be stirred to revolutions. I want. I no. like that part. This is with the Negro yeah, mind you read and the whole body. Statement. With the slave to call the use, the use of entertainment has been well known weapons of mass distraction. They have been well known weapons. weapons, meaning they have confidence that this thing works. Yes, yes. See, we use it all the time. We use it all the time. It's if perfectly it effective. Go ahead. If it don't book, don't try to fix it. <laughs> Go ahead. With the Negro mind and body enslaved to carnal pleasures and entertainment. Call it uh, carnal pleasures is the stupid, the dumb. Loving hip hop. Yes. Yeah, prime time yes. dumb Television. TV. Yeah. Twerk videos. Twerk videos. Go ahead. And entertainment, the soul and intellect cannot be stirred to revolution. In other words, we have a total lock on a mind where, where, where revolution, meaning changing your mind into righteousness, is unheard of. You know, this reminds me of Deacon. You remember the inception of like, let's use hip hop for an example. It was a lot of revolutionary music. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of self-consciousness, self-awareness, upliftment from the, from the slums of the ghettos, things of that nature. Then when you look today, it shifted into drinking, drugging, whoring. Mm -hmm. No, remember they had they had songs empowering sisters yeah. and things of that nature self destruction was my all favorite all of that is gone gone they use the media to shift us into carnal pleasures yep and, and for the of the black enslaved mind mm -hmm. right. they shifted our way of thinking right. yes mm -hmm. hijacking meaning they took it over yeah, yeah. yeah. No yeah. more standing. Definitely. Right. Right. So all of this freedom of speech and all this garbage, garbage. is just, no, no, no. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. You said freedom of speech. <laughs> that First Amendment, that, which is freedom of speech, freedom of religion, is garbage. garbage. I'm gonna garbage. tell you why it's garbage. The second we say Jesus Christ is black and we're the Israelites, no freedom of religion. No freedom. We're a hate. You're yeah. a hate group. Exactly. You're a racist. Let's just get them fired. Anti-Semitic. Let's get them fired. Yeah. Let's get them mm -hmm. fired off his job. Mm -hmm. So the first amendment is BS. There right. is no such thing as freedom of religion or freedom of speech when it comes to black and brown people. Mm -hmm. If we're not assimilated, we are the enemy. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Read that next paragraph. Go up. 
Where you at? You may not personally that part. The media. You may per, you may not personally listen to these cartoon characters. Meaning, but, meaning these carnal pleasure and entertainment, mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. that foolishness. Go but ahead. your children do. But your children do. The reason why I wanted that was because of what I pointed out earlier about a fractured organization. That's what they're saying. They say you might not, you yourself might be conscious enough to not, to, to know better, to not get yourself tied up. And you might have uh, thoughts of biblical revolution. The scripture said, these are they that turn the world upside down. Mm-hmm. Our mind, that's revolution right there. Yes. Right. Our mind, we're trying to get our minds in the right thought. Mm-hmm. But that's the parent level. That's the, that's the grown up level. But this, this article is saying you, you yourself might not be, be uh, subjected to our television but your children are. Damn. That's the reason why they made that point about f- a fractured organization. Right. They said when the old, when the older heads, quote unquote, the older heads go out, we got your kids. Damn. Right. Right. You remember Go, that? Ahead. A phone go ahead. Go ahead. These children will grow up with the seeds of ignorance planted mm. within them. Wow. And, and we'll, that start like Dickens said, yeah. it started in their school system. Damn. Go ahead. And will be ever more disinterested in participating in anything associated with black consciousness. Some of these Damn. kids don't even know that the slave trade even yes. came up. Yes. That's an example yes. of that right there. Yes. Just yesterday, Go ahead, speak I'm, on it, man. Uh, I'm going to lean back. Yes. Just yesterday, yes. I'm talking to a brother who was with me. Captain R.A. was me, with me in Alabama. Hey, bro, you know, we you read about this in the slave trade, right? Point to the poster. I, that's a grown man here. This, about, this dude was about 30 years old. He had, yeah. what, two kids or something yeah, like that? Right. I'm pointing to the slave trade. Look, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 68, he didn't know nothing. He didn't know there was a slave trade. He didn't and know we came from, at, from from the West Coast. The dude didn't know nothing. In the They're not learning down. nothing. In, in the heart in of Alabama, Slave Central? Yeah. Alabama is clueless. Sl- slave clueless. Central. Because, that, because of what they did just to him right there. Uh, you know what that's saying? That's biblical about getting the kids. Look at Wisdom of Solomon 3, verse 11 and 12. Yes, yes, Watch yes. what King Solomon said through the Spirit of Christ. Because mm-hmm. that's who's speaking through Solomon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said something right there, but who got it, got it. Whoever didn't, shame <laughs> on you. Guys. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 11. Yeah. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable and their hope is vain. Their labor's unfruitful and their work's unprofitable. Watch the result of how it affects the people. Their wives are foolish Damn. and their children wicked. Damn. Damn. That's what that article was yep. saying. Because exactly. they despise wisdom. There you go. Hey, I wanted to speak about how they attack, attack the children as well. There's something called a gifted program. Mm. Even when you're young, when you come up, if you, if you do better on tests or whatnot, you're in the gifted program. So your eight hours of the day is spent now with a special group of, of Edomites nine times out of 10. So even though you're wiser and you're smarter, your mind is not in tune with the rest of your people. They start that at a young age. They start stripping you away. Tilbury um, skins. You- Tilbury skins. Oh, man. That's farming, by the way. You gotta watch that. And, and, and there's a book. I always reference this because what we're talking about is directly in the book called Brainwash. Yep. Mm-hmm. Get that book by Tom Burrell. Brainwash. Is it me or is it it's 11.50. Yep. When Captain, we get into Captain the- Kabash haven't seen a word the whole show. <laughs> I had a lot to say. I was just holding. I oh, wanted, come on now. I want to touch on something in uh, Revelations. I did one. It's going back to the, the, the original fight. The thing is that we understand that this, the battle that we fight is in with spiritual weakness in high places. Mm-hmm. And the same thing that we're fighting against is the same thing they tried to set up back then during the, the Greek Empire with Antiochus. And their religion was that all be one people. It was no religion. Like they said, worship this God. It was that you believe in this government system. You don't keep your customs. You don't treat, keep your traditions. You don't circumcise your children. That's our religion. And that's the same thing that America pushes. So separating it from them, you're pretty much saying that we don't want to be a part of your religion. We want to be a part of our own culture. And to them, that's a threat. Going to back to Revelation. So that 13. shows you that this whole thing about multiculturalism is, is BS. It's because BS, it's not yeah. about multiculturalism. Because that would mean everybody will get the yes. freedom of religion. That mm-hmm. that is BS. That's, that's, that's They'll BS. be on the top and everybody else is serving is it, them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Your freedom of religion is the religion they approve for exactly. you to have. Exactly. So that's not freedom <laughs> there. So go ahead. Revelations uh, 13, 11. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 11. Really? And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had, excuse me, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Again, going back to what this, who this fight is with, 
this beast of Babylon, this is also going into America when you read verse 11, the, the history behind this, this is America. Mm -hmm. This beast that came out of the earth, he had horns like a lamb, I meaning he came with the posture of peace, but mm -hmm. when you look at every leader they assassinated, America was behind it. The ba Babylon the Great was behind it. Mm -hmm. But his, he said he's, came, he's had horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. Everything that he did against people that came against the system that they're trying to uphold. That is the same. This this person that we're reading about, this this dragon, is the same whore that we we did. That is also known as Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. Though she deck herself with pearls and all of these things, she is that whore that wipeth her mouth, saying, "I've done nothing." That's why when we look at these things, we say, "Oh, our people did that. Your people did that. Y'all are fractured." No, they causing these things to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're the man behind it. They're throwing the stone and hiding their hand. Mm -hmm. Hey. Go down. The weapon being used. Read that the weapon being used against the us. Wep the weapons being used against us have grown ever more sophisticated. Our people are less willing to fight for themselves than ever before, mm -hmm. and our conditions continue to disintegrate. Yep. Meanwhile, the FBI in the United States has launched COINTEL 2.0. Cointel Pro 2.0 by labeling black Americans as identity extremists. Yeah. See that thing? Because you're changing the mind of the people. That's the Can point. we read one scripture real quick? Genesis yes. 49 and 8. And, and by the way, Christ was an extremist. Yes. That's right. And it's just, just going to hit on the point where it says, our people are less willing to fight for themselves than ever before. The Bible speaks about that as well. And that's why we are considered threats. All right, read that. Wait, hold it. That word extremist, just real quick. <laughs> extremist. You know, it's amazing how they play on words. We extremely want to get out of captivity. That's right. There ain't no problem with that. That's a, that's a trigger word. That's a trigger right, word. Right, right. We extremely want to get out of captivity, but they put a negative connotation exactly. on it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have extreme white supremacy. So what, what's up right. with that? All right. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 48, 9 and verse 8. Judah, thou art, excuse me, Judah, thou art he. Oh, nine, just jump to nine. Verse nine. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. Thou art gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion, as an old lion who shall rouse him up. All right. And from the 60s up until now, now we're back, rised up. And this is the last time, Lord's will. So now it's the, the threats are getting higher and more concentrated than ever before. And we're seeing that. So I, I want to make this clear. This is talking about Judah, not Levi and Benji. This is talking about Judah, bro. Yeah, Judah. Let's <laughs> make it clear. Yeah. You said last night. Who? You said <laughs> Judah is going to wake up and teach everybody, Deacon. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go back. Go back up. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, officer. And the nation responsible by. Damn, this is. Listen, I read this whole article. This thing is so heavy. We can spend days on this thing, man. Whoever wrote this article, he went deep. This thing is very heavy, this article. He's an extremist. Today, the United States yeah. uh, of Africa. Hey, uh, you see, hey, officer, you see down there where you say today, the United States? Yes. Uh, to uh, oh, start right okay. there. Today, a United States of Africa is possible mm. and is the necessary, as is. as is the necessary rise of a black messiah. But rather than but rather than that Messiah coming in the form of a single man or woman, uh -oh. if things continue, we may see the rise of an entire nation uh -huh. of them. Uh -oh. mm. Dang. Right. One what are you telling you? This article, <laughs> this article is heavy. Keep on reading. If leaders of the past were able to change the world on their own, what might a million of them Dang. be able to achieve? What about just a hundred? Hey, you know what's so heavy? This is go back to the scripture in Obadiah. They want to say, Savior shall come in my Zion to judge Esau. Right. Esau behind. Damn. That's a, that's a heavy statement right there. Mm. She's yeah. The article, the person is telling you, it's not going to be one Messiah. It's mm. going to be a bunch of them yep. who's going to come. So Esau, like you said earlier, I think you're the one who said that, Bishop. You say Esau is looking for one. Right. right. But most I got 144,000. That's right. Who's going to rise and, and up? Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows who they are. Exactly. Nobody knows who they are. Uh, Cap. I wanted to say this, and I, I don't want to jump the gun, if we could say gun, without them pausing it and say, <laughs> they say gun. Right. There you go. Hate, now, hate. I don't know if we, we're going into this later, but 
that movie that they tried to come out with, The Day Shall Come, right? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. This is a little caption of what, what the movie was supposed to be about. It says, an improvised preacher who brings hope to Miami projects is offered cash to save his family from eviction. He has no idea his sponsor works for, F, for the FBI, and the FBI plans on, and plans on turning him into a criminal by fueling his revolutionary dreams. Right. So basically, they set him up to be an extremist. Yes. And this is the same thing that they're doing to us. Mm-hmm. They plan well, it trying to do within, it to us. Yeah, they're trying to do and, it. And, and it's based off a true story. Right. Yeah. They, they, they yeah. built him up and then called him a terrorist. Mm. Hundreds of true stories. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The one they're trying to make today with us. They, they, they're trying to they're doing the same thing. They right. basically put it in the movies before they actually do it. Right. right. And what it shows us is that they really don't, they, they don't fear our God. Because in the, in the movie, they're making mockery. It's like... I think, yeah, yeah, they, they, they just, they're just sounding like the horns. They're, like they're, just, they're just trying to sound the rhinos. Don't be afraid of them. It's the same thing that said, their God is, we're their gods. It's the same thing that they're trying to paint. Like, they have no power. We can set them up and we can destroy them. Mm-hmm. Let's put drugs and whatever we got to bring them down. Let's implement things. Let's put people in there, in there, in, around them. And let's come up with some, let's trump some story about how they're terrorists, how they kill people and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. Or the it's the same thing violence. they do. Yes. Right. Hey, go back, go back, right. go back, go back. Uh, Elisha, go up. The white. Uh, oh, 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 no, no, no. Right there, read that. The white world has worked hard in the past to crush black movements. Mm-hmm. Maybe if they work harder at justice and equality ah. instead of surveillance and oppression, they would have less to fear. Ah. Now, this this mm-hmm. was written by Assad Malik. Assad Malik. That. Whoever would this, I don't know if he's a, is that's a brother? Yes, that's a brother. Right. Mm-hmm. right. He went deep. But that's the end of the article. But right. Esau don't believe in none of that what you just read. No. Mm-hmm. None of that. They believe in white supremacy. That's mm-hmm. what gives them their privileges and all of that. Mm-hmm. This is hate. Right. Esau. This is. Exactly. He, this Esau takes this exactly. whole article as hate, black right. identity extremism, yeah. all that. But, uh, so, brothers and sisters, don't, do not forget the thought. The thought we was gonna we showing you guys is the coalition mm-hmm. between the old black leaders and us today is the same thing. All these leaders that got killed, they were leaders that were stand up for the people. Mm-hmm. They died because of be, they believe. Listen, our people have to come together, unify, mm-hmm. unity. Mm-hmm. We don't need white people to uh, collectively. We don't need them. That's what this is was pushing. Mm-hmm. Unity collectively, we don't need them. Right. And all of them got killed. Mm-hmm. They killed them because mm-hmm. of that. It's the same thing today. And if you notice also, all these black leaders, before they killed them, they always try to bring uh, uh, a public opinion against them. The character yes. assassination. Yes. Character assassination. They dis- yes. Yes. yes, that's why they hijack the media. Yes. So nobody else has right. a mouth to speak. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So they, they hijack the media. They, they destroy their character. To show the people, you know, yeah, they, so when they kill them, so the people will say, you know what? And then they make sure their own people kill them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they can say, oh, you, yeah, you see, you see, we're not racist. It's not us. It's their own people, right. it's not us. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing they did with Gaddafi. Mm-hmm. Obama did with Gaddafi. Why is the people up and kill them? So they say, oh, you see, it's not America. America didn't behind it. Yeah. America didn't do this. They didn't can, do that. It's the same thing. Can I read a statement real quick? Yes. This was in the first part of the article that we read last week. It says, early on, the United States government realized that it could not use blunt force to destroy the idea of yes. black self-empowerment. After all, that wouldn't that uh, after all, wouldn't that contradict America's own constitution? So basically what they what they're saying is that we prefer we wish we could do this. But the reason why we, because the blunt force will make it easy. Just come and wipe them out. Mm-hmm. That means that that's their mentality. But they don't want to be seen as the one that mm-hmm. did the killing. Right. We will put we will put poison into his uh, toothpaste. Right, right. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And he just died mysteriously. But they are the ones behind it. But we don't want you to see that we did it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We'll it. Covert means. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, sir. Bishop, did you want to see that video? Yeah. What video? She said. Oh no, that's for another week. Oh, okay. yes, the whole article is for another week. Yes, okay. But like uh, um, Captain Gabash made a statement about uh, the day shall come. Mm-hmm. Esau plays on the poverty of black people. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they, cause in the movie, as a joke, he's poor. He mm-hmm. had to pay rent. He had mm-hmm. no money. So they, they gave him money 
behind it, like 50K, $50,000. And they've done that with brothers from Trinidad. Remember, mm -hmm. a plot, the, uh, it was up in Newburgh, by the way, mm -hmm. to blow up the airport. Yes. They did. They right. offered these guys money mm -hmm. who were poor, and they just had a conversation. They weren't going to do nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. But they arrested them. And that's why the, the, the author of the book, I mean, of the yeah, movie, of the movie, he yes. said it's based on a hundred, hundreds of true stories, how the right. FBI gives covetous poor black people money yeah. mm -hmm. and it puts in their minds to do certain things that they never mm -hmm. carry out yes. but they arrest them mm -hmm. because it it's, it's um it's unity again it gives it gives the anti-terrorist groups a job right mm -hmm. that's what keeps them employed because they they're not, they're, there's no one to capture over in iran and iraq so right. they have mm -hmm. to keep themselves as if they're doing something so they pay brothers pay sisters to carry out certain acts whether they do it or not just you know how they say um a, a plot was foiled. They foiled a plot, a terrorist plot. Mm -hmm. That's because they knew about it before it happened because right. they're the ones who actually got it going. Yes. <laughs> Job security. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. It's the same thing they do with these black leaders. They stir up the pot. Right. 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 Stir up the pot. So that's what they, they always do that. So that's, is this, so what we're saying, what we, this class was up, this radio show is about is we try to warn you yes. what's coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Because we see, God, this is what so, Mosa, Mosa is, is, is funny. Most I just give, because you see that thing that happened last year in IUIC with all these brothers, mm -hmm. it was just a taste. Right. Most I show you a taste was about to happen yeah, right. and everybody got panicking. Right. Everybody right. panicked. Right. But you know this, we didn't panic. We didn't panic. We just like, okay, we expect that. Because right. why? We read in the scripture. We say, you know what? It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. right. The scripture says it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Right. The, so, right. The scripture say through much tribulation, tribulation shall yeah. we enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. So we're going to get the kingdom. Oh, yeah. We're just going to get it with, through some troubles. Yeah, with some troubles. And those of us that understand this Bible, we should understand that mm -hmm. and not faint. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we try to tell your brothers and sisters, we try to prepare your mind. Of what Esau is cooking, because mm -hmm. Esau is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, I I make that I make that statement last week. This is what a lot of brothers, and I'm and I say brothers because we are the leaders of Israel. We are the leaders. We are the judges. What you guys don't understand is, you come to change the mind of the people. The enemy is not gonna take it laying down, mm -hmm. because they spend billions trying to keep this truth from coming out. Right trying to keep you to keep you from waking up now you're waking up now you're taking your name back you're changing your name now you're saying hey listen i'm not celebrating none of this thing right they're not gonna take it laying down they're not that's why you see the sps is about all this coin tail they're not gonna take it laying down so right. your blood is get your mind ready right get you because right. i'm telling you your blood is panicking the sister is gonna panic into right it right. start with your Mm -hmm. If your God stand, the sister is going to stand with you. That's right. Because Black Panther proved that. You guys, your blood has got to stand for this. Stand for this truth. Mm -hmm. Don't let nothing shake you. Because yeah. they're going to come. They, they're yeah. coming to shake right. you. Don't stand right, in, now. right. Don't right. stand in nothing else. Stand in the scripture. Yes. Right. right. Stand right. in this Bible. Point. This is what's not going to fail. Right. Stand in the Bible. Stand in the Bible, right. brother. Stand in the Bible. Hey, D. Also, remember the article that I brought out to you about William O'Neill. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. After Fred Hampton was killed, mm -hmm. the things that he brought forth to his uncle prior to his suicide. Mm -hmm. So what you said is heavy. Is it okay if I just read a little bit? Yeah, of this? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so got, it says we got plenty of time. Right? Oh, Why for say Elisha? All right. So Heard, the guy by the name of Heard is William O'Neill's uncle. It says Heard said O'Neill never wanted to talk about the incident. He never said why he did it or if coming so close to death had taught him anything. But his his response was, but I never thought he would do it again since he came so close. Heard says, I never thought he was suicidal. Heard learned of O'Neill's secret shortly after Hampton's death. I thought about some of the things he did and said. I asked him, but he denied it. But later, O'Neill told his uncle that he'd been in trouble for from everything from car theft home invasion to kidnapping and torture. He said they had someone tied up and they were pouring hot water over his head. They were trying to get information out of him. So O'Neill was approached by an FBI agent that told O'Neill he would take care of all of it in exchange for his infiltrating the Panthers. Yeah. Isn't that what they told the same brother? Same exactly. thing. The tip you were explaining last yeah. night is the same thing they told him. Wow. And what you were saying, Deke, is heavy because if you look, the scriptures actually tell you that as long as you keep in the law, 
no harm shall come to thee. Exactly. So there's a lot of brothers and sisters in the midst of the body, probably new, coming into the truth, that have pending charges from the world as mm -hmm. they're transitioning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stay firm with the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. Some of us used to sell drugs just yes. like we were saying no in more. the chant. Not no right. more, no more. Right. The most High has the power. Most High controls this man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stand firm. Can we uh just play the 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 glorious? Pure white woman uh, <laughs> about what she said, just to you know go along with the fact of the article, just to back up everything that was in the article, mm -hmm. you know, just to keep it fresh in our people's minds mm -hmm. about what's going on with the SPLC. Mm -hmm. I think it's like around six twenty, yeah, right when she says what she says, but she says the main point. Just because you know, because a lot of times we post things and then we we, we we touch on things and then we just quickly move on to another topic. Yeah, no, black, this needs to be in our minds. Yeah, that, black people you know, forget. Yeah, we forget very quickly. Right. So this needs to be at the forefront of our minds. Like, look, there's a agenda going on. Yep. To stop the awakening. That's what it is. To stop the to stop the saviors. Okay. Go ahead, um, officer. Damn. And you've seen that work. No, go it back. Go back about five seconds. The number one thing, I, and so on, to give people a chance to look go, go at back what a little more. involved in through that relationship for the first younger that's people it, too, it. and bring them out of the movement. And you've seen that happen many, many times. One of my favorite examples is a woman named Angela King who went to prison in Florida for involvement with white no, supremacist no, no, no. skinhead crew. Uh, they committed some robberies. She met a Jamaican don't rob nobody. who was involved, who was imprisoned with her, but was involved in some community activities in the prison there. They became friends. That's how Angie got out of the movement, was through that relationship. For the first time in her life, she had an honest friendship, right, with a person of a different color. Now Angela King runs something called Life After Hate, which works with people who want to get out of white supremacist movements. And what we try to do is bust up the groups. We try to sow discord among the organizations, show that the people who lead these organizations are hypocrites, uh -huh. and so on, to uh -huh. give people a chance to look at what they've gotten involved in and hey. maybe reconsider it. Stop it. And you've Stop seen it. that Stop work. It. Stop it. This, this is why it's imperative for leaders mm -hmm. to be keeping these commandments, mm -hmm. to be blameless, mm -hmm. because you can't be smoking weed, buying Selling weed. weed. Yeah. Uh, buying prostitutes, things right. of that nature, because their main objective is to find you as a hypocrite, meaning right. you're breaking the commandments. Right. Yes. Right. So when you're found breaking the commandments, now they got a leg up on you. Mm -hmm. This is what you don't understand. So I know, listen, all that secret sin and all of that, y'all got to put that stuff away, man. Mm -hmm. You got to put it away because you're giving the enemy an advantage. First, you're doing yourself a disservice by mm -hmm. offending the Lord. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you're giving the enemy a daggone leg up. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Here's something that most people miss when they watch things like this here because this woman is up here and she's up here promulgating herself like she's the standard of righteousness and right. justice right. Right. and people's minds are zapped out by television where they don't see obvious things mm -hmm. whose land is this <laughs> that we're on exactly. right you sitting here talking about a hate group what kind your people took the land from the native american yes. indians ain't that hate that's right. that's hate and it's extreme they still on the reservations talking about we yes. want to get our land back yes. right so wait, how come no how come the media is not reflecting that because the media has been hijacked mm -hmm. right. and your head has been hijacked. Right. They, they lock up all of our brothers and sisters throughout the mm -hmm. 70s, 80s, 90s for heroin and crack. Mm -hmm. And now they, for opioids, they give therapy to white people. Mm -hmm. right. It's, right. it's, it's a, you're a friggin' land of hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. hypocrisy. So my leaders are hypocrites. Your, your whole people are hypocrites. Your being mm -hmm. is a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. The Bible uh, says, your curse face be is he. a hypocrite. Damn. <laughs> right. De Deuteronomy says, <laughs> curse be he be that removeth his neighbor's landmark and right. all the people shall say amen. Right. So if you are about justice and judgment and proper law and all of that, you got to go to jail. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yes. Cause your people People, you, you you benefited off the yes. off the robbery that your fathers committed. Mm -hmm. right. You sitting up here talking about judging hate crimes. Right. Hey, you know, he, your people brought us over here, made a monster out of us, and then right. you're gonna call us a madman. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. People are something else. Uh, all right, uh, Cap. Go ahead. All right. All praises, brothers and sisters. That's our show for today. Want to uh, um once again. Uh, honor to Bishop Nathaniel Deacon Yawasa for for the show for coming on the show. 
Please remember, we do have a school here, 691 Highway 138 in Riverdale, Georgia. Riverdale, right, Bishop? Yes. Riverdale. Riverdale. Yes. <laughs> All right. So come down, come learn your nationality. Come learn, come keep these high holy days. Come get with these brothers. Come get with these sisters. All right. We have uh, donations. If you want to give to the body, you could do so via PayPal at iuic.atlanta at israelunite.org. If you want to give to the Booster Club, which you should be a part of the Booster Club to keep the bishops the bishop, the deacons, the captains flying around the globe, spreading this glorious gospel of Christ, you could do so via PayPal at IUIC dots fundraising at israelunite.org. Good. Mm -hmm. right. uh, we want to give our um, brothers and sisters behind the scene who make this possible. Officer Elisha, Officer Yui, Officer Elward, uh, Officer uh, Yohanan, Officer Malachi, Officer Salomon, uh, who was over there? Soldier Dino, Soldier... Kenai. Kenaniah. Kenaniah. Soldier Mahali Leo. Uh, who else we got here? Who I'm missing? Who's that? Um, uh, Wolfie? Yuri? Oh, uh, yeah, I say Elward. Right. I say Elward. Uh, and uh, Johanna. Officer Johanna. And uh, Officer Joham. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we got some guests in the house today. Uh, who's those brothers behind you, Johanna? What's your name? Brother Baruch. <laughs> Brother Baruch. Dallas Camp. Officer Baruch. Officer Baruch. Officer Hananiah. Anathiah. Anathiah. What camp? What camp? Orlando. Orlando Camp. Always, always. And also, of course, we got our guests. Oh, we want, hey, which sisters uh, provide breakfast for us this morning? Sister Avaya. Um, yeah, Avia. Um, LaShawn, Sister LaShawn from the house of Officer Carmeli, Avia from the house of Yali, Soldier okay. Yali. I, I forgot the last one. To from the house of Tobit, Johanna from the house of Soldier Tobit. <laughs> All right, y'all guys got it? All right. Yes, sir. We want to thank our guests. Almost got beat up the last time. Oh, Captain, yeah, uh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Johanna. Remember that? Captain Kabash from Orlando Camp and Captain Osi from Orlando <laughs> Camp. Okay. Thank you, thank you, brothers, of course. Deacon Yawsab, we, we want to thank you especially for yes. come all the way down here, man, to do part two with us. That's sure. right. That's thousand, right. A thousand miles. Yes. A thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> come down here. Come down here. All praise to the most. That's only four hours. Yeah. No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, but you know, you got to say that so you can feel important. You know? Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that. Of course. All, the one and all, only. All, all, all this white supremacy had made me feel. I, so I need, I need all, all the encouragement I can get from my brother. Of brain. course. <laughs> of course, the one and only. Bishop, thank you, thank you, thank you for being That's part right. of our That's show right. today. All That's right. Thank you. Okay. We didn't talk about Marcus Garvey. I actually want oh, to get to read that thing in a book. If you should read it real quick. We there's did. a there's a documentary on him on Amazon. Mm. I saw it last night really? where they interviewed some of his uh, members, mm. and it was so funny when they sent it. Real quick, real quick, real yes, quick. Yes. They sent his body back to Jamaica. Jamaica does this big celebration, so they interviewed his members, and they said that's hypocrisy. Jamaica hated Marcus Garvey. Now that he dropped dead, they wouldn't have a celebration. Then he buried him as a Roman Catholic in a really? in St. Oh, Parish Church. Oh, oh, damn. Those they was damn living. Jamaican you gotta see that. Jamaican. You gotta see it. Freaking Benji off the hook. No, 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 no. They were Jamaicans. Jamaicans. Yeah, Jamaicans. <laughs> black people. Were... You're black. Black people. Big ashy. You're ashy. You're black. They did, you're black. They did my man dirty. Damn. Bigger than black. You want them to read something? Gums black. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. All right, no, no, no. Israel, with that, we say. Sish. Oh, oh, before you guys go, hey, brothers and sisters, don't forget, don't forget to support the Booster Club. Yes. Because remember, we cannot travel without the Booster Club. Okay. Um, we got a couple of trips coming up. We got, uh, so we got a couple of stuff coming up. We got some stuff coming. We got some, we got some crazy stuff coming up, you see. But support, support, support. And. And you can still order the concert, correct? Correct. You yes. Still order, you can still order the concert via. Uh, you going to touch on it? Yes. You yeah. say it. Uh, you can. It's ten dollars. You send it via PayPal to ro info at royaleventplanning.net. Info mm -hmm. at royaleventplanning.net for ten dollars. You can get the whole concert. Also, and you will get the you will get the passwords emailed to you and uh, the link and the password. 
Also, don't forget to register for Passover. Passover yes. is going to be yes, and North Carolina. It's going to be solid. North Carolina. RoyalEventPlanning.net. We're going to we're gonna, all of us going to blame Dick and Yaus up this year. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna Y'all ain't got nothing to blame. It's going to be it's going to be off the it's chain. It's going to be off the chain. I'm looking forward to it. You know to me. That, I don't dude. talk yeah, much, but we're going to deliver. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to deliver. All praise the most high. By the power of the mouth. Hey, hey, D, because a lot of people don't know how North Carolina get down there. Yeah, they get down. North North Carolina Carolina get down. Yeah, North Carolina gets down. 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 I had to learn that thing. Yeah. (laughs) All right, Israel. Anything else, brothers? Do do we want to read the um, the new waiver now? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. We were supposed hey, to we're supposed to read it every yeah, before right, the show, right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can, I can Let's read it. Let's read it, 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 right quick. We are, we are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat as stated in Leviticus 5 and 1. With that, we and say with that, shalom. We say shalom. 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 We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.